Dragon Master Dine, but this is ridiculous. If Dine were still alive today, I'm sure he'd tell you to stop dreaming about his exciting quest, get off your butt, and set out on your own fantastic adventures. I know you have the courage to be a great hero, just like Dine. So what's holding you back? Alex, didn't you promise Luna that you'd practice singing with her today? Now joined Alex. Welcome to Let's Play Luna, Silver Star, the Silver Star. You don't know, I've been through hell and back just to record this game. Because I really want to. But, I have two playthroughs I've done this game, that I recorded for YouTube Daily Motion, have ended in, well, it, the project being cancelled. Because... The first one was a technical issue with Cam Studio, which was a playthrough without any commentary whatsoever, and the second was a let's play, but a recording I had, I lost, I could not transfer, transfer over when I transferred my files over from my old computer to my new computer. So unfortunately I had to start again, and that includes all the projects I was playing, games that I was playing at the time, including the two Kirby games, which sucks really. But anyway, that's enough about this. Let's talk about Lunar. A game which I think is really underrated. It's got a cult following, but not as much as, say, Final Fantasy. It says, Here lies the spirit of the greatest of the four heroes, the Dragon Master. Rest peace peacefully dying. Alex is a massive fan, looks up to Dragon Master dying. And as I was saying, this game, I just wanted to play this just to show people that Sonic CD isn't the only good Sega CD game. The Sega CD game, it did have, to be fair, a lot of garbage, although there were a few gems like Vi, this game in the sequel. And apparently Terminator wasn't bad either. And Sylphie's. Anyway, let's look at Alex. He has 75 HP. Jesus, Louis. To be fair, that's a bit high for a JRPG protagonist at the start of the game at level 1. I mean, hell. I think, see, I think Cecil in Final Fantasy 4 had about 200. Started with... Although he was at around level 8 or 10. Even Final Fantasy characters aren't that strong at level 1. Jeez. Yeah, Alex is probably going to be the most broken character in the game, period. He has no magic and he won't learn some for, some, for quite some time. Okay, now, now can is pretty much your miscellaneous menu, you can change the audio of your party members, late save or save your game or load a game or drop an item. Anyway, let's head down. Who's this? Hi Alex, I've been looking all over for you. Yeah we have this this game does have some FMVs and to be fair they do look good, but sadly a lot of them are just filler, like that. There's only about three voice actors in the entire game. Gary, Alex, just guess what I just heard. Someone said that the dragon in the cave has a huge diamond. I always wanted to go on a quest. Let's make this our first big adventure. Anyway, I've decided I'm going to go with or without you. I'll just stop by my house to get a few first to get a few snacks for the trip. That was Ramus. The game never really introduces him. Alright, oh, an adventure Alex. I can hardly wait, but I bet Luna will be upset. The remakes introduce him just by having now say, Hey, isn't that Ramus coming up there? And he actually gets his own voice. And now no. No, it's about four voice actors, sorry. My apologies. I can I forgot about Niles. Niles' voice is annoying, by the way. While well, the remake 
The remakes give all the other party members, including Raymond's just then, a voice actor. Which is nice. But that said, the animation is good on in the FMVs. But just sadly, just uh, like I said, a lot of them are just filler. And the voice acting is good too, but there's only very only a handful of instances of voice acting. Only a handful. Which is shame. That's so the remake did the did the FMVs so much more better. Because it actually had every char character had voice acting. Plus it improves upon them a lot by having less filler. More animation. Although to be fair the animation wasn't that impressive. It was mostly focused on the characters talking. But anyway, this is where we need to go to meet Luna. We have to go to here. Hey? Alex, this is Luna's bouquet. But where's Luna? Good morning, Alex. You're late again. <laughs> Did Ramus ever find you? You know, he seemed really anxious to track you down. But then he's probably hatching another harebrained scheme. Well, anyway, let's just practice our song for the festival. La so strange. Is something bothering you? You can tell me. Alex, please tell me what's wrong. Yes, you can tell if there's something wrong just by the way you're playing. Luna is just that much of a maestro. Or like good with music. Anyway, you've been so quiet. Talk to me, Alex. What's the matter? Luna, Alex wants to go to the giant gate with Ramos. Now you blabbermouth. In the remakes, the game does lampshade that, but I mean, I'd like say, shh, now, while in the PSP game, Silver Star Harmony, he immediately just says, Oh, now, do you, did you have to tell her everything? The Dragon Cave, please don't go get it. Go there, Alex. It's just too dangerous. Dot, 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 dot. Loads of dots. Alex is silent in this version, and only this version. He has a lot more to say in the remakes. Well, I've never been able to stop you from doing what you wanted to do before, so I guess all I can do is go along and make sure you stay out of trouble. Do not join Luna joined our party. You know, Alex, there's an old chest in the basement. Maybe there's something we can use in it. So then, we have Luna in our party. She, and unlike Alex, she actually is a, pretty much a reasonable stat, status for a level 1 character. But she is a little strong for someone who's meant to be pretty much a healer. She has a lot of Antel magic. I should talk about that. A lot of these stats are self explanatory. While anti magic is pretty much a magic defense. The number of attacks and number of moves, I'll get into that when we actually get into a battle. And I should talk about the remakes, even though I've said, mentioned them god knows how many times. This game has also been remade a few times, in the forms of Luna telling us to check the chest in the basement. There were, there's 
Lunar Superstar Story Complete on the PS1. Lunar Legend for the Game Boy Advance. And Lunar Superstar Harmony on the PSP. And I think there's another one called Silver Star Touch. Silver Star Story Touch. Which I think is another version of Silver Star Story Complete. But I'm actually not sure about that. I've never seen any screenshots of it. I've only heard about it on Lunar Fan sites. I'm not even sure it's re if it's even released yet. I think it's another version of Silver Star Story. Silver Star Story. What I'm referring to when I say Silver Star Story is the story in Lunar Silver Star Story Complete, which is. The remakes have their story changed a lot. I mean, in this version, original, the story was very, is very dark. It does, it seems lighthearted right now, and the dialogue seems lighthearted. But trust me, the game's atmosphere, it does get bloody dark later. It really does. That said, I will say the graphics do look good, but in my opinion, they're just too dark. I mean, really, everything looks like nighttime. Even though it's supposed to be daytime, as the battle background shows. Axe is just as locked. What are you gonna do? Uh, excuse me, you know, maybe, uh, uh, I don't know. A key might help here? Perhaps we should ask around, folks. I said dialogue. It's a lot of funny dialogue, but it's very unfitting given the story. Key to the chest and basement. Okay, here you go. There's nothing important here. I know you don't know what you just got got us into. All right, it opened. Looks like it contains no sword and dirty clothes. Well, Alex, put on the battle clothes and grab that sword. And it's not a sword; it's a dagger. And they're not old clothes; they're heavy clothes. Oh, and Alex's sprite changes too. And it's Portrait sprite thing changes too. Oh, and his portrait actually changes too, too. The portrait with his face on. Previously, if you. Previously, you only saw it for a little bit in one piece of dialogue. But he actually has, doesn't have a hat. Now, in any of his portraits, whenever he has any dialogue or during battle, it'll show with him with a hat. Even though his sprite doesn't wear a hat. His artwork also has a hat on, but he doesn't wear a hat. Same with the Dragon Master armor. Spoilers, but you've seen it in the intro. He never wears the helmet. You know, he has it in his portrait. Well, in Silver Star Story Complete, he doesn't have a hat in his portrait, but he still wears the helmet in his portrait, even though his sprite doesn't wear it. Although in late in Lunar Legend and Lunar Still Star Harmony, he does wear the helmet. Although in Legend, at some point, he does get it blown off his head. In a pretty cool scene, but we'll talk about that when we get to that. I was talking about the remakes. Legend, Still Star Story Complete changed story a lot, as I was mentioning before I got sidetracked. Which is actually, it's actually considered the cam canon story, even though it's sequel, the sequel Eternal Blue, it's remake Eternal Blue Complete, actually follows this game instead of story Star Silver Star Story. Sorry to keep you out, you know everything's all set. Okay. I don't know why, but. I forgot what I was going to say then. Or oh, I couldn't read for a second. Anyway, before I do start doing the order, first, we want to go to Ramus's house. Before we go, that's Ramus's house. Hey, Ramus, why don't you go help the bitches in the field? Can't, no can't now, father. I'm going on an adventure. That'll make me so rich. Come on, Axe, let's go. Adventure awaits, and we have to examine this. 
and get the old ring, which we will need to enter the White Dragon Cave. There's also uh, back to remakes. Legend follows mostly the story of Silver Star story, but it does deviate a little bit and actually takes some plot points from the novels. Yeah, there are novels of the game. One of them, I believe, is actually on kin Kindle. There's also Lunar Silverstar Harmony, which is pretty much a pretty prettied up Silver Star story complete, which actually takes takes one bus. It actually car carries over some battle mechanics from well, one major battle mechanic from Legend. But it's fo mostly focused on pretty much mostly content wise, the same as Super Star Story Complete, except it adds one or two extra scenes. And it's time we actually got to business. Sorry about that, I had a lot of talk about, about this game. The order menu. I want to put Ramus in the front. Now, I'm going to be honest, this m menu can be really confusing to get through. Anyway, up and down, you may notice this highlight someone with on the full body shots with a dark red square. square. While up, you may notice that Alex has moved to the front, took a step forward to the front. If you press left and right, everyone else steps forward or back. The person, basically, you highlight some some left and right, and then you highlight where you want them to go. Like, for example, let's put Ramus here. So I want him here, and we'll put Alex there. Even though Ram now will always, you know, so that there's an extra slot that says four, and Al's in it. There's always going to be an extra slot with now in the extra slot yeah, and you can never move him no matter how many party members even if you get all fill have uh, all five party members now we'll end up in a sixth slot and like I said you can never move him however despite him being in a last slot he'll always be behind Alex in the marching order I mostly put Ramus there just so you can get a boost off to attack some enemies. And we've got some enemies right here. We have three commands run, which gets everyone to run. Attack, you just start the battle. Now, you just start the battle, but now we'll tell you about the enemies Albino Baboon and Fly Trapper. Be careful in this one. That's pretty much mean that they're almost as, they're pretty much as strong as us. We have AI, which allows you get sets a character onto the AI, pretty much. Magic, which we don't have any yet. Well, Axe and Rain Ramus cannot use any, and Axe doesn't have any yet. You can use a magic spell. Flea, which Flea and Run are a little confused, and I'll talk about those in a bit. Item, just use an item, attack, attack, self-explanatory, flee and run, even though they mean the exact same thing. Flee is pretty much like a defense mechanic, just like when you select it, a character runs back. I'm not sure if you actually take less damage while fleeing, but the characters do get into a kind of like a defensive position. By defensive, I mean carrying in the corner. Run that uh, gets that character to run in battle. Anyway, let's start fighting. You want to target him? I should talk about moves. Moves is pretty much your range. Well, that uh, uh, well attacks allows you to attack how many times your character will do a physical attack in one move when you use the attack command. Also, Luna is actually Luna in place of magic actually has song. There are only a handful of characters who actually have. Who have don't have magic, but they have a different skill in place of magic. Luna is the only one with song. Three other characters we can get later have skill, which according to the manual is ninja moves. 
Although I really don't see those guys, three characters being ninjas. I mean, really, let's be honest. They're still pretty much spells. We have healing, which heals everybody. Cascade, which buffs everyone, everyone's attack power, which I want to do in a bit. Good luck, I actually don't know what good luck does. Well, at the top of my head, I can't rem remember, but if I remember, I will put a bit of caption on in Vivian Maker. Purification, I believe that heals poison. But anyway, let's use Cascade 1 Luna. Get Luna to use. Fuck, I forgot to equip my sword. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. Well. Uh, <laughs> um. 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 Uh. Kick some ass. Punch things. Show the world that you're better than Ricky Atten, Alex. Even so, Balrog is quaking in his boots. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> right. Let's see. 12 attack power and 6 defense. Equip, equip. 17 and 6. Not bad. I really can't believe I did that. Well, you may notice that I actually passed up on a weapon for Luna. Well, I'm actually not really going to bother with a weapon for Luna. Because I, in this early point in the game, I might get her one later, but in this point in the game, I don't really want to give her a weapon. I don't think she really needs it. Um, I'm going to use Keeling Song because that didn't go very well. Well, of course, I have Dunce. A shiny... Well, I do have a a huge sign with light pointing at me that says Dunce. But anyway, Dun Beetle, these are easy pickings. That means that these enemies are easy. So, clobber them. I'm not sure if I should bother with Cascade Song. So, I'll get Luna to flee for now. Oh, Alex did not attack twice. But, what? Oh, there we go. You finally attack. Start attacking twice. Yeah, I think that you should have used Cascade Song. Right. I could edit out random battles, but I think I'll keep them in for at least this episode or a few couple of episodes. And this is a monument. You're. You can actually examine this to heal yourself, replenish your HP. Those ones heal your HP, while there's actually some we're going to see later in the game that will heal our MP in terms of experience, Alex and Luna doing well. Ramus, not so much. We'll gain a lot soon. Don't worry. Oh, bloody hell. No, I did not want to use Kill Song. Ugh. Well, of course, this is me recording, so when you record, let's play, things always go like to go wrong. Or you end up being an idiot. All of a sudden. Must admit, I can't believe I forgot to equip Axon is armor and sword. That's the thing, though. Hopefully that's actually pointing something out, even though I, well I forgot to equip the armor. Even though Rain, now when you open that chest says, Alex grab that battle, art, battle sword, that, no, that sword and clothes. Even though, and Alex's sprite changes, despite that, Alex still hasn't got the heavy clothes and dagger equipped. So, be careful about that, so you don't end up in the same trap as me. Although, I think I will... 
in editing put a caption there just to tell you that before my initial before my oopsies or before I realised that I didn't nope to gain a level ooh now this this is an Alphina Shrine I think that I'm not sure how many there are I think there are about three but you can donate money although to be fair I don't think you get anything for it so personally I'm not going to bother and you can rest when you rest, you'll heal all your MP and all your HP, which is good. I must admit, before going into the Dragon Cave, I would like Muna to gain a level, personally. Anyway, let's do this. This chunk of ice is not going anywhere. Well, let's try using the ring I got from the house. It's better than trying to chip away at this ice ball forever. You have to examine it, examine it again. Oh cool, I've got Alex and Ramus looking at it. Alex, here's the old ring. When you give it a shot, use the old ring. Right, and now we're at the White Dragon Cave. I'll stop the video here. Next time on Let's Play Lunar Still Star Story. No, Lunar, the Silver Star. We are going to explore the White Dragon Cave and see if we can't get a Dragon Diamond. See you next time.